Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Thinking Crypto channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, also smash the like button. Guys, I've got some very bullish news for you. I always tell you to watch what the big money is doing. Where is the money being invested? And we see a lot of it being pumped into this new crypto market, uh, guys, this new asset class. A lot of building of software and, and the infrastructure and hardware and so forth to really capitalize on the, the eventual maturation of the market. And the first news up here, guys, Anchorage moves into crypto trading with new broker service. We are seeing Wall Street firms, stock exchanges, banks, um, your big players like Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, ICE, uh, or the, the Intercontinental Exchange, as they're known, getting involved. And every week and month, it seems like there's someone new launching a cryptocurrency trading platform or some sort of service related to crypto. So crypto services startup Anchorage has launched a crypto platform for who? Institutional investors and acquired the data analysis firm Merkle Data expansion building out of services guys and keep in mind you know the market is not roaring like it was in in 2017 right at those prices so they are preparing for what's coming up in the future the eventual maturation of the market so announced wednesday the move marks an expansion in offerings for the company originally focused on providing institutional custodial services as it continues to bet that adding more features like trading will carry crypto further into mainstream big big statements there guys and that is where we're headed and that's why you have to look at it holistically watch what the big money's doing watch what the governments are doing and be patient and uh, merkel's data acquisition similarly expands anchorage's reach according to the blog post framing the data team as a complement to its new trading service anchorage said merkel data will boost its quantitative analysis and risk modeling capabilities now if that sounds familiar we've talked about it on this channel the big data research and analytics and insights is what's available in the existing financial markets, such as stocks and, and other assets, right? A lot of data so investors can be more well equipped and you can use that data to make decisions. If a new asset class is on the rise, is being birthed right now, right? What do you need to build for it to be on par with the other financial markets, right? The infrastructure and part of that is big data, market research, guys. It, all the puzzle pieces are coming together here. Another, another guy, guy's partnership here. Silvergate, Bitstamp, link up to set, let who? Institutions trade with leverage collateralized by Bitcoin. Luxembourg-based crypto exchange Bitstamp has become a launch partner for Silvergate Bank's new product, Send Leverage. Developed by a California state chartered Silvergate Bank, the Silvergate Exchange Network enables real-time around-the-clock deposits and withdrawal of U.S. dollars. Since launch, the network has onboarded a series of big-name exchanges, including Kraken in November and Gemini in August. So, the product targets institutional clients and allows them to trade with leverage collateralized by Bitcoin. See the financial products being built here, guys? And it's notice what they're saying, institutional investors for institutions. They're not talking about retail. Retail has their own on-ramps, but they're building for the big money. You think the prices we see today, uh, five years in, from now, are going to exist? No, it's going to be really, really much higher uh, because we're so young, uh, early, guys. This is such a young market. And another example of the competition heating up here, Startup crypto exchange Blade to launch zero fee trading in February. So, crypto perpetuals exchange Blade will be introducing a zero free trading next month in a bid to what? Gain market share from rivals. The competition's heating up, and that is a certainly an important factor to see, guys. When companies are competing to get into something that's not fully mature yet, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. They're putting money and resources and time, hiring people and making all the acquisitions and things like that. So big, big news here. Uh, finally, uh, we're another example of adoption. And it seems like a lot of stuff is happening around the NBA. We recently talked about uh, NBA player Spencer Dimwitty from the New, uh, Brooklyn Nets, who will be tokenizing his 
NBA contract on uh, an Ethereum-based platform. Well, now we have another item here based on the Ethereum blockchain. Sacramento Kings plan to auction off Buddy Hill's jersey, so one of the players on the Kings uh, team, from today's game against the Mavericks using an Ethereum-based platform backed by consensus. So adoption, guys. The token economy is coming and crypto is leading that charge and you're going to see assets, many different things, contracts, all kinds of things get tokenized. And as you guys know, I personally diversify. I am bullish on XRP, Bitcoin and Ethereum. XRP being my number one because of the utility and disruption potential I see. Bitcoin, the store of value, the digital goal, and Ethereum, the smart contract platform. I also hold Litecoin, Coin, Proppy, and some others. VeChain, I'm very bullish on VeChain as well. But uh, I hope you understand that this new asset class will have multiple winners. Will everything be a winner? Of course not. Just like the dot-com boom. But there will be the likes of a Google and Amazon, eBay, Netflix, and so on and so forth to come out of this new asset class, guys. And I'm excited. I'm bullish. I love seeing news like this. It validates my investment that I'm on the side of smart money where they are putting their money, building out the infrastructure, just like they did in the 90s, building out services and many different things to uh, to accommodate the launch of the internet, right? And uh, blockchain is the other part of this, which I'm personally looking at, okay, what blockchain companies could I invest in? Um, you know, it's kind of difficult because you have to be kind of an accredited investor. Tokens and, and um and crypto is a bit different, right? Uh, versus a, bl a company that's building blockchain technology for like uses in healthcare or fi uh, other th other things, right? So I I'm looking at all aspects of this and I'm excited about the future of this market. Guys, what do you think about this news? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please share this video if you found it helpful. Um, it may be helpful to share with you know people who are still doubters, maybe family, friends who still don't get what's happening here but show them the investments being made by big companies here and uh, i think they may they may start to realize the the shift the paradigm change is taking place thank you guys for your support i'll talk to you all later